Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Matt Lieberman. And I'm Trace Dominguez. And we both love science. You know what that means, Trace? Yep! Science bros! What? So you're supposed to do this a bit, we're gonna do it together. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Okay. Uh, you know what that means, Trace? Yep! Science bros! Thanks. You didn't do it again! Get this, people. For decades, scientists have been trying to find a way of making it possible for paraplegics and quadriplegics to move their limbs again. They've tried everything from brain-computer interfaces to exoskeletons, but so far nothing has achieved the level of effortless comfort and ease of use that patients have had before their various injuries. However, thanks to a new flexible implant developed by researchers at École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, Switzerland, we may finally have an answer. The implant, which fully integrates into the patient's spine, is one step closer to human trials, following a successful trial with rats. The paraplegic rats, whose spine had been completely severed before the trial, recovered full use of their hind legs with little to no damage to their actual spinal cords. It's unprecedented! Past attempts at spinal implant therapies failed to protect the spinal cord and caused undue friction because they simply couldn't bend. Like Beckham. No. Like Bender from Futurama. No! Uh, ben Diagram. Okay, I'll give you points yeah, for that, that one. one was good. <laughs> Science bros. The implant, dubbed Edura, is made of a flexible silicon that moves almost identically to the spinal cord and surrounding tissue. It's placed under the patient's dura mater, the series of membranes that surround the spinal cord as well as the brain. Once placed, Edura has cracked gold conduction tracks and electrodes made of platinum silicon composite that carry electrical signals to and from the brain, as well as a microfluidic channel that delivers chemical neurotransmitters to aid in the reanimation of dead and damaged tissue. The electrical signals and chemicals work in tandem to help patients theoretically skip the gap in their spinal cord and restore full motion in their limbs. The rat trial was highly successful and human trials may begin as early as this coming June. So now we want to hear from you. If you could have a technological implant, what would you want it to do? Let us know down in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share. I'm Matt Lieberman. And I'm Trace Dominguez. Trace, if you had a technological implant, what would you want it to do? I think I'd want to be able to connect to the internet. Yeah? Right through my brain. I get it. But then yeah. you'd like, you'd never do anything. You'd just be on the internet all the time. I'm already on the internet all the time. <laughs>